And allow me as feedback and not be recorded, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Sai, your comments. Me about what about Triple Sour? Yes. No, it's just good, you know. Some really good talks. I I've watched about uh, a dozen or so, a dozen or so talks. I'm gonna, I have have my camera set up to do a video, so I'm doing this. Yeah, so I'm going to talk to the camera. Um, yeah, I don't have much, much to say. Like, bloody good job, Vladimir, with the videos. I would agree with that, Vladimir and John. Yeah, yeah second, <laughs> yeah, third, whatever. Seems yeah, well, absolutely day. top notch. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, and the quality of the YouTube videos is amazing. So, yeah, awesome work, Vladimir. Um, any comments about the quality of the content side? Uh, no, I don't know. I think it's just the usual mix. I, I, I would, um, I think it's really hard. I mean, it's really hard. It's very subjective. You have your own view about what sort of content you want to see and, and you can't predict what other people really want to see. Um, so I don't really kind of go too deeply into that thinking. Uh, it's good to see Bryn's, um, if you haven't seen Bryn's front end talk, um, he's, he's really topped his well, last one. That's the pure CSS presentation. So uh, definitely that was a highlight for me, I think. Uh, a couple others were really good. Kim Peppers talk about uh, getting into the nitty gritty of of um, test coverage and stuff like that, um, static analysis and stuff like that in um, in PHP tests. Uh, highlights just a bunch of stuff you don't come across normally. So you get this kind of insight. That, that stuff's really good. You get this insight into what people are looking at that you don't even think to ask them. It's like, tell me a random way to do mocking of a random thing in Drupal. And he's like, well. Absolutely. I do agree. I was in Brainstock as well. And it was great. It was great. Um, all righty. Simon Lindsay, would you want to, do you want to say something? Comments? Uh, no, just uh, overall it was, was great. Uh, attended a bunch of talks and thought they were all pretty good. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh volunteering and doing a bit more with meetups and that sort of stuff so that, that's sort of what i took out of it is uh yeah trying to be a bit more involved so if you want to get more involved the next is can i assume that in the next meetup you're presenting something <laughs> well, uh, yeah look we'll see what i can do <laughs> all right so just think of a topic and we can talk <laughs> because i no always worries. trouble trying to find people to present can do. <laughs> okay carl um i i i loved it it was a uh, great friends good people uh quality of talks was really good um uh very diverse in content nature which was uh refreshing not a lot in the hosting front but um it's not always the case <laughs> yeah yeah uh, it was really good i can't fault would go again <laughs> all right um how about sort of a different perspective? So Gaurav flew all the way from India to Sydney to attend Drupal South, and this was his first Drupal South. Gaurav, comments, how did you feel? How how was it? It was, I mean, uh, really amazing because uh, like this was my first Drupal South, but it was my first session as well. Like I gave anywhere in DrupalCon, Drupal South or anywhere. So it was an experience for sure. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, the, the crowd was also amazing. Like the people came and, you know, asked a lot of questions, which actually made me learn also a few things. So I think uh, it is a really nice, you know, way of engaging with everyone. And uh, especially Drupal South, it was really nice. Like there were a good number of sessions and the sessions were also very informative. And, you know, uh, icing on the cake was like uh, the keynote from uh, Adris himself. So uh, I think it was a full package and i really loved it and along with that like i it was my first trip to australia as well so i <laughs> really love australia as well so everything was great for me like two weeks were really amazing so okay. i think thank you so much for the opportunity as well we have a few more people who actually flew in from india at that time um part hello hello hi see you i see you there just unmute yourself and talk <laughs> all right all right okay <laughs> yeah. um so yeah 
<laughs> hey, hi everyone. My first Drupal South as well. Uh, amazing sessions, amazing people. I don't know if that is already mentioned. I met so many new people that I've never met. I've made uh, yeah lengthy conversations with Simon on the last day. That was amazing. I'm glad I got to meet so many folks from the DevOps community as well. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, in short, it was nice uh, experience. I loved a few talks as well. I think that some of them already got mentioned. Kim's talk, uh, even Carl's talk for that matter. I don't know if uh, that has been mentioned yet. So um, one thing that I loved um, about the sessions, uh, the ones that I did like, was there were a f there were some new insights that that got um, that got brought out from the mundane stuff that uh, that I have been used to. Um, so yeah, that's that's my quick takeaway. Uh, and without taking further time, uh, I'll hand it over back to Suchi. And you met some people who you, whom you hadn't hadn't met for. Seven oh yes, years. oh yeah, that that too, <laughs> that too. I had met for a, the longest amount of time uh, as well. Got to meet them. So yes, that was great as well. <laughs> well, I think I'll, we told you that me and Park worked in our previous lives. So we worked <laughs> together in our previous lives. I suspected that was happening, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know Path has had a quite the recent day before, but I'm glad he's had the opportunity to come to Australia and see what we're doing. That that was amazing. That was amazing. Um, Jana, do you want to say something? Are you around? Never mind then. Govind. Yeah, so it's it's not the first time, but yeah, it was my third Drupal South. Always as enjoyed. It's it's really good time to meet everyone once in a while because working in a remote is really it's feel sometimes it's feel like we should meet in person. So yeah, Drupal South always gave me a chance to meet everyone. And yeah. The new faces always are welcome. It's it's really good to be there. So yeah, and uh, also Parth, it's really nice to meet you again after ten of years. So yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Probably awesome. ten years. Yeah. yeah, more than ten years. Alrighty. So other than this discussion, I did not have a session lined up. Um. I know it's just 20 minutes in, but does anybody have anything that you want to talk about? Anything that you want to show? Yeah, I mean, I could give my comments about the Drupal South as oh, well. Oh, sorry, I forgot you, Ming. Sorry. Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, just, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it was great. It's my first Drupal South in, I think, four years. Last last one I went to was um in Tasmania. Um, and this is my first time presenting at Drupal South. I did the defense in depth talk if any of you um, had the chance to come down to it uh and yeah i really liked it i really liked the venue um like you know lo lots of like right in the city center um it's easy to go out in the evening and you know see restaurants and other things so um yeah very well organized as well um, really enjoyed it yeah yeah sorry to have missed you <laughs> oh, no no worries i have the camera off yeah uh anybody else yeah, I'll go, I'll go quick. Um, I thought uh, uh, big props to the, um, you know, to the track, track chair, track leads, um, especially on the first day, you know, when the, uh, when the, when the keynotes uh, uh, talk went a little bit over time, I, I think you guys recovered really well. Um, so good, good job. To, you know, yeah, we were panicking at that time, but yes, we tried to. <laughs> yeah, no, no, well done, well done to you guys. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like reiterate the, um, I thought, I think it might be worth exploring if we can curate the boffs or somehow like have, you know, maybe a track lead or something dedicated to, to promoting the boffs. And because um, I also thought they might have been a little bit slightly underutilized. So not no criticism. It's just possibly an improvement. Um, yeah. And then I mean, one thing I may be open for discussion. One thing I'm, I'm always interested in is how can we attract like new people to Drupal, you know, to Drupal South? Um, you know, like a lot of us have been around for Drupal for a long time, right? But how come, but 
has anyone been in here in Drupal less than you know three years, two years, by chance? Um, sorry, Drupal lesson as in? But no, sorry, is, is like you know, like has anyone joined? Is is anyone new to Drupal like less than two or three years? Yeah, less than two. Uh, I don't think. So. Yeah. I believe the same name you to. Uh, I could say. Because, because to me, to me, this is a, this is a, a challenge that I'm interested in helping solve, right? Like, how do we, how can we get new faces? How can we get new faces, new perspectives into Drupal? So Damien, um, Damien has actually, he, Damien has been me and said that he joined just twelve months ago. He joined the Drupal. Oh, cool, just welcome. Months ago. So welcome. he's one of the newbies we would speak mm. and say. Cool, cool. So yeah, thanks, Damien. Um, yeah. So, uh, but overall, it was a fantastic, fantastic conference. Uh, like, the food was great. Um, you know, it's good to connect. I like I like the themes of you know, let's move forward. Let's let's focus on a Drupal eleven. Let's you know, like, um, come together. So, I, I, well done. So, thanks. So, Damien, where are you located? Uh, I'm located a couple of hours outside of Melbourne, so in um, Bendigo. Oh, okay. So, yeah. twenty twenty five is in Melbourne. A great chance yeah. for you to uh, come in again. It should it should be it should be fun. Oh, and yeah, looking forward to it. And Damien, uh, Damien did his first commit on Drupal.org at the Code Sprint. So he got uh, Damien. Um, I think that's a big shout out. Cool. They always did the live codes, the live commit. So we had Lee Rollins up up the front, and uh, yeah, Damien. Damien is a core con core committer now. I mean, a core contributor. I don't oh, know well what the definition is exactly. Oh, so, um, that's great. Yeah, that's cool. Time. That's cool. No, it's really cool. Yes. Also, I hired Damien, so just say it's it's actually my win. So just FYI. Just... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, if next Drupal South in Melbourne, how can we engage Melbourne Uni students? Very good question. Um. I don't know the answer to it yet. Yeah, great question. Um, one thing is the cost, right? Like a lot of times, uni students can't afford the cost of a ticket. Oh. So who, who who pays for them, right? So it's 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 a it's a it's a broad discussion. Um, one way we could attract you know uni students is possibly show them how they can get careers in Drupal. You know, so possibly uh, looking at like a, a career fair type thing. You know, um, so also you guys could be you know you could talk about what it's like to be a Drupal developer, same with previous next, you know, what, what kick-ass projects are you guys working on, you know, like attract, um, you know, like a, 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 get uni students that way, maybe. Yeah. Just, just an idea. We don't have any connections to unis as such. We actually are doing a couple of projects with unis. So maybe we can have a conversation, but unfortunately the, the thing with unis is that they are so bureaucratic that one department doesn't really talk with the other department. And we will be dealing with just a way, you know, website facing department and they'll not be talking to the uni students. Um, up here in Queensland at UQ, there's a computer society called Humbug and there's um, surely a computer society at the uni. Then those people would do other things as well as Drupal. You know, um, when I was down there, there was a Christian union. There's probably other groups, you know, bushwalking clubs. God knows what. It's all clubs and societies. It's not the uni itself. Yeah. The, union, the union does all those social activities. I'm sure, I'm sure there'd be. I've been away for a long time from Melbourne Uni, but um, do you, do you know of anyone who visits there or goes to the union? We call it the union, like where all the students have activities, not the, not the studies, just the activities. Yeah. Do you know about that? Okay. Unfortunately, I'm still relatively new in Australia, so I don't. Really? Okay, when I, I was doing medicine there, believe it or not, I was going to be a doctor, and I didn't finish. But um, um, there was the Bayou Library, there was the Brownless Library, and there was the medical school. There'd probably be an engineering school down there, mm -hmm. you know, science, computer science school, and in there they would they would probably know about us. But um, yeah, I, I. But it's not the university. It's not the government. It's not the um the lecturer. It's the um, you have fun. You know, do things. That makes it. Unis aren't all study. You do also a lot of social things. So, 
The only library that matters at Melbourne University is the Road and White Library, I contend. Which one is that? <laughs> That's the one where you can, uh, you can, they put on records for you. They've got a vinyl collection. Oh, really? Yeah, it's absolutely awesome. It's in the Student Union building. That's the only uh, in the student library. Union. That's the one. Yeah. So That's breezeway. where it drew the south. I remember there was a breezeway <laughs> where it was very windy. You'd walk under the thing like a breezeway. There was Union there, I think. Yeah. But yeah, there must be people that could put you onto the right group. There'd be a few groups that would be relevant, you know? Shivan is suggesting if we have some WordPress to Drupal sessions, we might lure in some WordPress devs. WordPress has a much larger community. Do we want yeah. to do that? That's, that's, that's true. We already, we already tried that in Brisbane. Both <laughs> Drupal communities and WordPress. Your, your voice is breaking a lot, Vladimir. Like, with the fail and with this gut. So don't. <laughs> yeah. That's one kind of tangentially Just related to this. One last time. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch much of that. Yeah, yeah that what did I? Enough. I thought tangentially related to that you know how there was that there, there was the, you know our drupal south conference but there was also that ai conference going yeah. on at the same time yeah yeah. i this i'm pretty sure we were having way more fun than those people <laughs> I, I just could tell on their face like they just didn't want to be there but you know we were enjoying ourselves so that's mm -hmm. uh that's well, what they, for, for they, they were all in their formals and everything yeah boring <laughs> that's boring <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, I get that. I get that. Okay, so Pat, you spoke to a lot of new folks. Let me recall. I have, I've also heard that there is some Drupal course now in 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 some uni, but I don't have the details, unfortunately. But yeah, maybe this is something we can try and look for. Oh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, because uh, this is a conversation that came up from how I was sharing how India is kind of bringing Drupal into course curriculums in universities. And then someone said, oh, wait, but that's already happened here. Uh, we already have it in the curriculum, so we don't need to do that. Uh, but maybe we can leverage that to conduct our Drupal camps at those universities where they value Drupal or they already see Drupal as a career option. So that could be the route. Um, and that's 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 something for me to just look into my into my memory and then recall who it was. But oh, okay, there are uh, no, that's not okay. Hamilton shared something, and I was like, oh, is this the university? Maybe not. Okay, yeah. that's cool. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that too with uh, universities here in New Zealand, like start introducing that that, that curriculum. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely keen to to learn um, if from universities in in India or even in Australia too. So mm. I'll, I'll, I'll just go you know, sniff around. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So should Drupal South Committee try to systematically engage with those? Um, we don't have a... So from the Drupal South Committee, I think I am not a member of that committee, unfortunately. Do we have any representation of that committee here? It's it's tough. No, okay. No, but um, I, I, I have a good relationship with Dave Sparks. Um, yeah. And um, he, the short answer is no. And the, the, the challenge again with universities is who pays, who pays for the time to, to go in and, and, you know, to, to evangelize, um, especially since, you know, Drupal South is often funded in a large part by, by the companies themselves, right? You know, previous, social digital, previous, next, and all of our, you know, all of our time. Um, so the short, the short answer is um, uh, yes. I, I personally think it would be beneficial to, to somehow systematically engage uh, with universities. Um, but again, it's who, who, who pays for that time. Is it's a much answer. bigger conversation. Yeah, I yeah, think. yeah. It's not something that we can probably talk here. We can share. Or um, yeah, volunteers. So, yeah, I mean that would work too. Yeah, sorry, I'm reading the chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Volunteers do, uh, Hamilton, volunteers do spend a lot of time. Just today morning, I was talking to Dallas and I was asking him, so for Wellington, Drupal South Wellington, Dallas was the track chair. And I was just asking him to give me an estimate of how much time did he actually spend. 
and his estimate was around more than 100 hours. So volunteers do spend quite a lot of time and Drupal South is run by volunteers pretty much. So we do spend a lot of time already. And this is something um, this is something that is more systemic, systematic. It needs, I don't think volunteers would be able to do that. And, yeah, well, I mean, Tim Do Tim Doyle from a, a Drupal Association was was present too. So that that is a conversation. You know, maybe we or you know someone can have. Maybe you know, maybe I'm calling myself out here, but you know, like I think maybe the Drupal Association it would be the best interest of Drupal. Uh, maybe we, there's some funds available to, uh, to to try that out. So yeah, in Canberra, there's a lot of gov federal government departments in Drupal. I know none of us are in Canberra. I've been there, but uh, they are the biggest user. You, I went along to a thing on Drupal, and, and I couldn't believe at least half the departments secretly using Drupal. Like, you know what I mean? They don't tell people, but it's Drupal. Yeah. And Centrelink Defense, there's a few of the big ones, and it is just, they use, they change the code a bit. Yeah, it is surprising how many government departments use it uh, in the federal government. Um, but yeah, they, they, they were definitely no people in their industry short, but uh, yeah. Um, Some of us know that all too well. But, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 used be in, I used to be, I used to be, I used to be in Linux Australia and a lot of these guys are going for the top dollar right now. But when <laughs> I began with Linux, it was all community thing, right? Like we're trying to do, right? And a lot of, um, it's gone so big in, you know, the National Library and this and that, that you can't do any normal stuff anymore. Like it all has to be super careful super quality but there's also lots of community things too that are um, use these open source software um yeah and that's where it began it's a sad thing a lot of things have gone left the roots you know what i mean mm -hmm. um and i haven't had a lot of business for a long time up here in queensland it's very hard to make business up here i have to get customers in sydney so um there's still there's people like i have time that you know, you guys probably all nine to five. I might have one one day a week I work on it on IT, right? So there's other things like that where not everyone is nine to five. So uh, yeah. So I think um, hopefully don't go like Linux Australia where it's totally commercial now. Really, you know what I mean? The way they do things. So there is still a bit of room for like in the early days where people are open source. And um, so those those guys at the uni, some of those guys might write some source code, right? They might write some source code and um yeah so there's, there's things like that but um anyway but uh, i hope that you guys aren't going like linux australia where they went totally commercial and they don't do anything anything for free or or volunteer anymore and they're all too busy all too busy all too busy but when i began way back in sydney and um they we bring the disk along and install it on your computer that's what linux guys used to do but they don't do that anymore. It's all big commercial things. Yep. And it's changed. Hopefully, Drupal hasn't gone that route. But um, yeah, because it'll kill it off. It'll kill all the small guys off. So if you, um, I think some of the Linux, um, the people at um, the uni, there might be one or two eager students who might want to contribute code, something like that. I don't know. That might be a way. But uh, yeah, have you ever guys done a talk at those uh, student uh, groups at the uni? Have they ever done a talk, um, invited you to talk to them, you know, like a like a little meeting, and their meeting, go along to their meeting? Have you ever done that? Have you ever been to the... In Melbourne Uni is very uh, a various place, and they have halls that they have a hall for that group, and they go in and they put it, you know, your overhead projector and talk to the people like you do. Ah, what's this group of them? They talk to you, you know what I mean? Then you might get members to come over and join this group like this, this Zoom thing. Um, yeah, that's when I was young, that's what we used to do. You'd go to some hall and somebody have a meeting on it. It'd be a group and you'd say, oh yeah, I want to join, you join the group. Or they then they tell you what they do and they educate you about all these things like what group would do, right? And they don't have embedded things like WordPress is so difficult to switch. So they'd never done Drupal, so they knew, you know, the young guys. It just so you got a fresh person. Um, I would I would suggest doing the talk one day. It'd be tricky to find the time and to find the money and all that to get the time off. Or see when they have their meeting. It might be after uni at night time when they have their meeting and go along and do a little talk. 
on Zoom, I know. That's how we used to do it back in the day. They'd have some guy give a talk and you all go to the meeting and find out stuff and then you might join their group. Yeah. So uh, the students are like that, they're fairly fluid and they um, they have a fairly active and, and, and young and energy and they like new things. So, and they're not stuck in a groove yet. They're not stuck in one or the other, you know what I mean? They can never done anything on Spike Drupal. <laughs> you get a fresh person. Um, are you guys all working nine to five? So maybe they might have a meeting on a weekend where you could fit it in, you know, but I don't know. I would recommend trying to, trying to have a one set, might be once in a year you do it. Just go along and do yeah. a talk at the club, at this club I found. Yeah, but um, do, they, does this, do your group have funds to fund people if they need time off to pay for that? Or is that the struggle with it? You have to find funds to pay for someone's time off to go and do a talk at the uni. That was what it is. Or they're all too busy, like Linux guys, they're all too busy now to do anything. So, um, but yeah, I, I would recommend get somebody, a volunteer, or someone to give a talk at, at one lunchtime seminar or something, you know. Might get a few people interested in writing code, you know. So, you know. That's for my two cents. Yep. Thanks, Hamilton. Thanks for this. I, I do agree that we can try and look at the IT clubs and even just an introductory talk kind of a thing, something that I'm might. Happening. Yeah, when I was in India, I, and I'm talking about like ages back, I did do, so Aquia had a Drupal in a day kind of a thing and that they, they had started something called Drupal in a day. So I, I used to do those kinds of talks in uni, unis, half a day talk. And out of that, even if two people came to me and said they want to pursue that further, that that was always good. But yeah, as I said, um, don't really know the uni land here. That's something we'll have to look at. Yeah, that's because I used to um, I used to work for Aquia too at at the learning the services department, and so I was I was kind of an instructional designer for that um, Drupal in a day. And the backstory is that is again. Is, is funding related like it just wasn't it, it wasn't financially sustainable to keep that that project going it's it's, it's such an unfortunate yeah. um thing so but anyway i, I guess like one takeaway is this, we need to come up with ideas how can we how can we co you know coming I mean, covid's changed so much you know like a lot of people don't even want to go out anymore out to meet up because it just takes so much energy and anyway and this is you're talking about actually going out even getting people to come to an online meetup is not that yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. And getting to people to talk is super difficult. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, things are changing. People used to be very keen to go to meetups, et cetera. I know in, in, when I was in India, Drupal camps were such huge things there. And we would have like 500, 600 people. Part and we ha I have organized Drupal camps, which actually had 600 people um but getting that kind of attraction here i don't think it's very easy all right anything else anyone yeah i mean again all of that was possible because we had students and unis involved yes that is a key point so it, and plus one thing one key differentiator is double camps in india are free free um so there's so there's no um, entry barrier for anyone for that matter. Um, yes, the location does become uh, become a barrier for people because given that they are not co-located in that city, then they may not be able to attend. But a lot of people still did travel. Um, now, having said that, um, I think maybe subsidized tickets. So what WordPress or WordCamps? I attended a lot of WordCamps, organized um, a few camps with those folks as well. Um, and I realized that they have like a subsidized ticketing format for students, um, which is only to encourage their attendance. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they, they maybe get less swag or they may get, you know, they may have some restrictions on what they get out of, but they get to attend the event. Essentially that's, that's the point. So, um, yeah, maybe have those in as well. Um, and honestly, I think uh, Drupal camps uh, abroad are not even promoted to college goers or college folks, for yeah. my understanding. So I think start starting there will be 
will be the first the first step so yeah i don't know if um, yeah someone can relay that to the next uh, drupal camp drupal south team but that i i reckon that's that's where it starts that's that's good thanks for thank you yeah yeah um, i i have been making points and i'll make sure that we extract this information out and i can convey i'll make sure that it's communicated to the drupal south team as well um, I was hoping that Julia will be attending today and she is in the Drupal South committee, so that would have helped, but I'll talk to her separately and let's see what can be done about it. Yeah, Vladimir says that. Uh, what camps are all $50, $50 as a requirement, even for the students, Vladimir, even for the students? Yeah, but you know, I guess the point is university students, right? Like, if you think yeah. back, like it wasn't, it wasn't everyone, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also one more thing about WordCamps. They, uh, they get a lot of support from the WordCamp uh, organization. Like, um, even automatic, they they get a lot of framework set up for them uh, to be able to even host events. So, I understand that a lot of Drupal communities outside of India are like more matured and they have these, uh, you know, uh, account set up, uh, checking accounts, which are specifically for the event or for the association. But for the longest amount of time, that was the biggest barrier in India. Uh, but but having said that, sorry, uh, my point was uh, there's a lot of backing from the association uh, for WordPress community, whereas we don't have that. In fact, uh, a lot of event organizing guides yeah, as you said, like, I mean, there are, uh, the pricing is set. Like those kind of guidelines also come from the, uh, from the association. On that note, Parth, uh, number one, yes, there is actually EOW and event organizers, event organizers working group in um, Drupal. I, yeah, I'm part of it. But um, honestly, back when it was set up, um, it was already several years into Drupal community. and um, the guide event uh, organizing guide that was created out of it uh, was also something that was still like a working document or it's more of a suggestion uh, you know it's like a helping document as opposed to more of an enforcement that comes so if there is more um, yeah i mean some some sort of enforcing that goes on uh, or there's more structure from top down um, it kind of um, makes decision making easier uh, that's how I'll put it, um, because all of these aspects are like subjective, you know, um, and the end of, end of the day, everyone wants more attendance, more engagement. So yeah. if that's the goal and someone sets it, yeah. Uh, so already of... has those things figured out, figured out, like check-in account, et cetera. Yeah. Linux Australia, as Vladimir has mentioned, Linux Australia supports and sponsors and Drupal South and World Camps as well. Uh, Jana is mentioning that Drupal South has a person employed for organizing and promoting event. I, go, I guess promotion needs to be scaled up. Absolutely. Um, also, also, I'm so sorry. So as part of the structure, I'm so sorry, so sorry. As part of WordCamp structure, uh, the sponsorship. So there are uh, default sponsorships that are international. Um, so international organizations get to sponsor events in India or in whatever geography that they want. So that structure is also provided by the association. Just a, it does, you know, that's one more thing that kind of, you know, helps the event organizer. Okay. Um, to build on what Jana is saying, I think Drupal South promotion is very, very limited. People know people, only the people in the world of Drupal and who have been part of Drupal South, they tend to know about, okay, the next Drupal South is this, you know? Um, we are not really promoting it outside of that limited bubble, limited square that we have. So I totally agree with Jana that, yes, the promotion needs to be scaled up. The promotion needs to be outside of the Drupal um, sphere that we have. It should be to the, as we say, to the unis, just sending that out and things like that. Uh, and I also think getting a, not a Drupal in a day, but a Drupal basic beginner training a part of Drupal South that might also be useful because then we can target the uh, unis and say this is a training that you can come and see and that will help you get started with Drupal or you know things like that. I think that's also a very good idea 
We used to do that in Drupal Camp Delhi. We used to have one day of Drupal beginners training, just you know, so people can start off with it. And that is a very good way for people to just get into and know about Drupal. But yeah, those are all ideas. Let's see. All righty, everybody. Anything else that anybody will want to talk about? Thanks everyone for joining. It was a great discussion. Um, Dave QLE was keen to provide venue if their students will get free access. Hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe we can have something like this in Melbourne. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'll be putting this discussion on YouTube and I'll try to um yeah, I'll be put I'll be saving this chat as well. Um Hamilton, what's your question? Is there any more sprints? What what sprints? When I was in um when we were in Woolongabba back in the day, there was I think it was an evening or an afternoon and we feel like it was a special day, not just like a talk like thing, right? Okay. And everyone was just hacking code all day. Oh, so you were talking about code sprint? Yes. Yeah, right. If there's any more of those, because I've had a touch with that, they still do that like every year or every six months. What happens? You know, what's the cycle? Uh, Vladimir does that. Uh, Vladimir does still do a Drupal contribution day kind of a thing. Um, and I've had a touch. Okay, so group Vladimir's doing that still. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Thanks everyone for attending. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, so she can you hear me? Yeah, sure, I can. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so what uh, I'm trying to do is trying to get more speakers to speak at Drupal Melbourne. Yeah, awesome. So uh, I'll talk to you about it there, but what I was planning to do is move uh, Drupal South uh, to, no, sorry, Drupal South, Drupal Brisbane to a bit of a different time from this month and make it more like a contribution thing as well. So for whoever is interested in contribution or training and development, we are planning to do two hours every month, maybe starting at 3 p.m. different days, uh, see what people are interested in, maybe put some voting on. But um, uh, we'll be diverting everyone now who wants to present, including myself, to present at Melbourne Meetup to keep it more as a normal meetup, whereas uh, Brisbane will turn into more hands-on contribution uh bug fix or let's look at this module kind of thing so yeah. keep an eye i'm about to an announce uh, the april one and i think uh that will kind of create a good balance between uh me people who actually want to do hands-on including myself and people who wants to do a bit more talk like which would be pretty much melbourne thing Okay. Awesome. I did read your comment on the meetup as well as on, I think you posted on Drupal Slack as well. So yeah, that's amazing. And yeah, ping me if you know of anybody who wants to um, um, give a session in Drupal. As I said, it's not, a, it says Melbourne Drupal meetup, but it's not specifically Melbourne. Everybody is welcome. We have people from not only Australia, but New Zealand and India. So everybody is sure, for sure welcome. All righty. Thanks everyone for joining. Bye bye. Good to see you guys. Bye, Thanks, Carl. Bye, Thanks, Later. Bye, Jenna. Bye. Bye.